Hi, uh, thank you very much for watching. Please uh, continue to help share, uh, rate, uh, whatever else. Um, use social media to, to get the message and raise awareness of emotional abuse because of course most people don't realize it's emotional abuse. Uh, they don't know what it is, uh, yet they feel um, frustrated, upset, uh, feel like they're working really hard in a relationship, feel like uh, things are their fault. So why would they think it's the other person? Usually the other person they put on a pedestal think they're so lucky to have that person when in fact they're not, they're being abused. So please help share. Um, interesting thing, and I've had a, a few different things that converged recently. Um, uh, I had a, somebody that contacted me to say, uh, what would you say in this situation as a professional? Um, uh, I'm not a professional, I'm merely an expert, just the same as many people watching, uh, perhaps you too. Um, so, um, what would you say in this circumstance? Uh, now, I don't know if the technology will work. I'll cut this bit out if it doesn't. But um, uh, the link was uh, somebody um, doing a, a, a blog, um, answering questions from, uh, I think, teenagers predominantly. Um, and one teenager had, uh, well, here's, here's, here's the clip. Um, one teenager had said, uh, or not, uh, one, one teenager had said um, that uh, they felt suicidal. Um, and what, what what advice would they give? Um, because it sort of said, uh, maybe a, a flippant example was um, going to Walmart, uh, mum not taking me to Walmart even though I, I have to pay petrol. Um, then I think the person that was commenting on it sort of took that as a as get a life and you know you control it, use your power, don't let them influence over you, which kind of has a, a, a good message to it. Um, yet the, the bigger underlying thing perhaps wasn't answered and was, was flippant. Um, and somebody did a, and again, if, if the technology works and I can work the technology, uh, there was a video post uh, response to that, which was quite, um, here it is, or not, uh, which was quite vociferous, quite uh, emotional, uh, because it was from somebody that had been emotionally abused and sexually abused. Um, anyway, well, that's the context. Uh, this person uh, gave me the, the, the this and said, oh, I'm, I'm wanting to do a video response myself, because, you know, um, she was... Uh, you know, wanting to respond and defend the second person from the first, anyway, go, you know, big story, but it's really interesting because uh, basics uh, of it are um, what are the causes, uh, no, what are the outcomes from emotional abuse, you know, what are the effects of emotional abuse, um, and just in that one it was, it was all there. You know, um, low self-esteem, uh, a pattern, repeating pattern of being in uh, controlling relationships, being in abusive relationships, could be being sexually abused, could be physically abused, but certainly emotional. Emotional then everything on top is uh, an addition, but underpinning that is always emotional abuse. And um, gosh, out of, out of all that little connection came, um, and from a few other people, um, uh, jaw issues. Uh, from sexual abuse at a young age, uh, being forced, jaw issues, needing surgery, uh, teeth, uh, rotten teeth from um, issues of low self-esteem led to bulimia, bulimia anorexia, um, so the teeth are from the bulimic, uh, teeth are rotting and needing replacing um, as a result of emotional abuse, torment of, from younger years. Um, uh, Negative programming in your head uh, has such a devastating impact on your life. Um, uh, for those non-experts watching, yeah, you, you can't probably comprehend it or understand it. For those experts watching, you know exactly what I mean. Absolutely devastating, yet you can overcome it and it takes programming, reprogramming your head. And I can help that. Uh, I want to help that. That's what I'm about. Um, so reprogramming yourself, it's a really interesting thing. Um, gosh, uh, sorry, that, going back to the Dentists, dentists being a difficult thing sometimes because you're laying back in a chair and happening to open your mouth. I mean, awful things, awful things. People are awful. Uh, yet some people are wonderful. Uh, many people are wonderful as well. So I look to the positive. Uh, and you can change your negative, negative, negative beliefs, uh, negative patterns, people that want to kill themselves. That's a cry for help. You know, abusers say that as a tool, as a, as a 
I'm going to kill myself unless you. That's a manipulative tool, my God, and I've felt that myself. I've had that used on me myself, uh, and I know many people have come to me saying that their lovely partner has said that, you know, what should I do? And it's like, ah, gosh, this is abuse. Um, yet people crying out, victims cry out, thinking, gosh, I can't do anything more. I mean, you know, I, I have to kill myself, or I feel so guilty, I need to kill myself, I feel so bad, or they, they self-harm because they feel so bad, it's an outlet. Um, need help, you need, you know, need help, there's lots of help and resources around, but you can reprogram yourself for the better, for good. Um, and you can do that because you have all the equipment or tools, you just know you need to know where they are, what they are and how to use them. So do get in contact, do spread uh, the free resource of these videos uh, and help me raise awareness. Ah. And so that reply, that answered the uh, what are the effects, but the other question was what should he have said, what should the response be to somebody that says that sort of thing? Um, you know, that I, I, think I thought about suicide, I want to end my life, I'm uh, thinking, you know, um, or they've just experienced abuse, you know, wherever they are on the scale of sexual, physical, uh, emotional abuse. Um, it's not your fault you've done nothing wrong. You were in that environment. There's nothing you could have done to control that environment. Maybe, you know, well, I would have thought you, at the time you wouldn't have known it was emotional abuse. Uh, absolutely. So it wasn't your fault. You were absolutely helpless. There's nothing you could have done. You did nothing wrong. There was nothing you did to cause that. It caused itself on you. Um, it was, uh, um, Yes, not your fault. So that's the biggest thing to know and to understand. I can't stress that enough. Cannot stress that enough. It's not you. It's not your fault. You did nothing wrong. So then I think the, the thing is then to understand the patterns that created that, that created low self-esteem, that created the negative thoughts, that created the outlet for uh, I want to self-harm, I want to be bulimic, I want to, you know, the, the negative thoughts, I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, I'm not, I've done something wrong, I'm not, uh, I, I'm stupid, I'm, I'm ugly, I'm, uh, you know, all the negative crap that comes up in the head, um, because somebody else gave that negative crap and you absorbed it in there and it's unfair and it's shitty and it's not your fault, you've done nothing wrong, you're a good person. So, um, getting that, you know, you didn't have somebody to, or this person, didn't have somebody to, to program good stuff in their head, good thoughts, yes you can do it, you're wonderful, you're a good person, you you can do that, give it a go, oh I feel emotional saying it, um, positive stuff, uh, somebody wasn't there, wasn't somebody wasn't resourceful enough to put that positive stuff in your head, so you'll have to do it, you know, or let me do it, you know, get somebody to put it in there, record it, it's a wonderful thing at the moment, I'm just looking down because it's the phone, uh, affirmations, wonderful, I'll do another video on affirmations, but put it in there, reprogram yourself, and I can help steer you in the right direction, you use resources, I'm not asking for tons of sessions with lots of money, I just want to help you to get the resources, to use them yourself, to do it yourself, because you can, absolutely, but you just haven't had somebody that's had that, that knows what to do, and it wasn't their fault, they're just a result of their conditioning. But you can break the pattern, you can break the spell, you can uh, break the mould. Uh, and that's an awesome and amazing thing. Um, so you can do that. Uh, isn't that incredible? Um, uh, and let me help you do that as well. So, uh, that was a, a bit of a, I just remembered that whilst I was downstairs, just to playing with the video, I went, oh no, I didn't answer this bit. So, uh, I don't know where I'll insert myself back into the other video, but uh, here goes. Oh, what's that? Bewitched. Or... From rent -a -ghost. <laughs> Really conscious this has gone a long time, sorry. Um, raise awareness of emotional abuse, thank you very much. Um, love you all, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>